that time, uh, we had just started Acorn Computers. Uh, our premises were at 4A Market Hill, about 200 yards from the computer lab. Uh, one of my best investments I ever made at Acorn Computers was Fitzbilly's buns <laughs> in the afternoon for anybody who wanted to come, <laughs> which meant that half the computer lab was at Acorn at 4 o'clock in the afternoon. And they normally didn't go home and stayed. Mm. And one of the traditions uh, at that time was that uh, whenever I got hungry, which was normally around 7 or 8 o'clock in the evening, uh, would go get a meal off me if they were still there. <laughs> so, <laughs> so a lot of the, the breakthroughs, and there were lots of them, mm. Acorn was very, a very, very innovative company. Tell, but, me, tell me about some of them. Yeah, lots of these breakthroughs were actually made in the Italian kitchen, uh, <laughs> you know, a, a few doors down. And when we had dinner, well, one of them was the Econet. So one evening we went out there to the Italian kitchens and invented networking. We, you know, we thought we had um, we had computers. They really ought to talk to each other, and we got terribly excited about linking them all up in a in a local area network. And we designed the, this network. And Andy walks in, he said, "Andy, Andy, come over here. We we've got this network, and, and and here it is. We had it on a on the proverbial serviette." And Andy took one look at it and said. Total rubbish. <laughs> this is now work. The way you need to do this is <laughs> like this. And, and it was this, uh, 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 this uh, change that Andy produced to uh, a very simple, um, uh, uh, what basically was an Ethernet type uh, uh, arrangement that then led to the most successful local area network in Britain at the time. We had 10,000 installed Econets in British schools before most people knew how to spell Ethernet. <laughs> what date was this? Well, this must have been 8081. Hmm. Have you still got the napkin on which it was scrawled? I don't think we have the napkin, although I remember that napkin floated around in the museum for a while, but uh, since we have the 30th anniversary, uh, I'll ask for the napkin, hmm. maybe somebody has it. I don't. I'd love to have a copy of the napkin anyway <laughs> for my collection. Um, th this was um, something that, I mean, what, there were many other developments occurring just at that time with computing. Yes. It seems to have been a very rich and exciting period. Um, well, I, I think uh, that although Acorn doesn't exist anymore, one of the reasons for uh, the uh, the, um, the Cambridge phenomenon is that Acorn philosophy, uh, we were really a systems company that we designed our own chips, we designed the hardware, we designed the computer, we wrote the operating system, we wrote the application software. We were the only computer company at the time to have a local area network uh, it was, that wasn't uh, en vogue until a decade later that everybody had a... Uh, Andy told me that uh, Bill Gates came and looked at this thing and said, what is it? <laughs> yeah, he did. I mean, we showed him uh, this thing and I, I showed him um, that, uh, uh, you know, our BBC computer and, and he wanted to sell us MS-DOS. Hmm. And I, I told him, look, Bill, we couldn't possibly take such a retrograde step because look at <laughs> the, only, the operating system that we have, which was way ahead of uh, hmm. MS-DOS at the time. And by the way, you could type star, I am Johnny and you, you are logged on to the file server via the local area network and you can use exactly the same load and store commands mm. that you would use to get files on and off a floppy disk to get files on and off the, the file server which might be far away and his, uh, Bill's response to that was, what's a network? 